on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. <sighs> really? Are you tired? No, bored. In fact, I'm going to the police precinct to see what he's doing. What? Hell, I'm about as well use this license while I have it, right? But aren't you tired? No. Believe me, th this is nothing compared to what I could really do if I was busy. Right. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I was wondering. Yeah. On our, uh, off days when we don't have to worry about school or anything. You wanna hang out? Oh, I mean, but, uh. Yeah. Showed. Showed us out and, uh, Mike. Well, I. It doesn't have to be with them. I mean. Sure, whatever. As long as I'm not bored, I guess. Great. Yeah. As soon as he head into the precinct, Izuku, he knows it's something. Enough of policemen are just covered with bruises and cuts. Some with black eyes. Missing teeth. Hems. What the hell happened to you guys? Them just pouring at a 10 year old kid. Is You're serious. Yeah, he's tougher than he looks. Really? What's your name, kid? Goto. Oh. Nice to meet you. It won't be. Him taking a swing at Izuku. He was just grabbing his hand. You're going to try even harder than that, kid. As, yes, he unleashes a flurry of punches, Izuku catching every single one of them like they're nothing. In which he's pissed. But also intrigued. He's like, what's your name? Izuku Midoriya. Oh, you're tougher than these pigs. Thank you. I'm a hero, after all. Hmm. Alright. So, why is he in here? He started a fight. I won a fight. They started it. Well, how come they're in uh, the ICU? They tried to back out of the fight. I hate cowards. Hmm. Sound like someone I know. Either way, talk to me. Do you like being here? It's better than being at home. My asshole of a dad, and I'm sick of seeing the look on my mom's face. What look? Pity. You will lay feeling pitied? No, I don't need it. I don't need the weaklings feeling sorry for me. Uh huh. So, your dad's an asshole. Your mom pities you. What? Tell me more about your home life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, then how about 
this. Um, here. Whatever your dad is acting not so fatherly, give this number a call, if you don't mind. This number is this mine. In fact, as he just whispers in Muscular's ear, Yes, this is Muscular. <laughs> Are you serious? Dead serious. It is a good walks out. And what'd you say to him? You'll find out if you can come with me. As soon as he calls that number. In which it does not take long. Let's say two, three days. Izuku bursts in Muscular's childhood home. Sees his father beat the shit out of him. And he gets dropped kicked by Izuku. So, so, do you want the first punch? But my quirk, I can't use it. What? I didn't know you were going to use your quirk. Well, as long as I don't see it, I can't arrest you, now can I? <laughs> you're, you're supposed to protect me. I'm supposed to protect the innocent. And punish the guilty. And you're looking pretty guilty right about now. So Muscular uses his quirk. And along with Izuku, beat the ever-loving shit out of Muscular's father. Well, yeah, his mom was just looking in shock and wondering... What the hell? So, yeah. You're, you're my favorite hero. Hmm. Thank you. Well, so, what's your hero name? Yeah, you can just call me Izuku. We're friends now, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe I'll be a hero when I grow up, but... Yeah, but you're not supposed to, what well, I did, you're not supposed to do as a hero, so, so if you don't want to be a hero because of the red tape, you could be an MMA fighter. Really? Yeah, yeah, why not? I don't see no problem with it. Just remember, no killing. No matter how tempting it is, you can put someone in the hospital, but you can't put them in the ground. Uh, yes, sir. Good. Hey. Mom? Yes? Can he be my dad? <laughs> Say what? How old are you? I, 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 I'm 16. I, I, as the more is, yeah, he's 16. So you, so you can cut that out. It's like muscular, but him being, I don't care what you say. Every, pretty, pretty much, you barely, he can say no to a child, but it hurts a little bit when he looks start looking all sad and shit. So, yeah, Nuri, she's conflicted for one. She doesn't want, like seeing kids cry, but on the other hand, it's. Like, <sighs> He's not old enough to get married. What, what about uh, engagements? If your mother feels the same way, or maybe, just maybe. Okay, that's I, I can. Her looking at Muscular's mom, she's blushing, but she's also like, "What the hell just happened?" He just picks up Muscular's dad and says, Alright, 
kind of lock him up. What? Really? Oh, yeah. Thanks to the evidence your son has collected for me for the past <laughs> days. So that's why. Yeah, I, was, I, I want proof so he could possibly get more time. Smart kid. Yeah, I can see you going up to be an outstanding citizen. Him knowing his version of muscular is a bastard. <sighs> I'm. I hope I do change the future. Consequences be damned. I'll be more than strong enough. <sighs> Alright, time to get to work. As years go by, and Izuku is now, yeah, he's married. <sighs> yeah, he's married to not only Wessler's mom. Shut up. He's also married to Namori. I know. Calm the fuck down. As well as a few others I shan't name yet. <clears throat> I still don't get why you don't try for the number one hero spot. Because that's all my shit. I ain't taking that away from him. But you're way more strong. I, I know that, but still. He's the symbol of peace. We just have to make sure he's doing his shit. So, uh, how's Tenko doing, Nana? He's doing better. A, a lot better. <sighs> you still having problems? <sighs> With the fact that I know that if it wasn't for me dying, he, he probably would have had an easier life. Well, you're here now. Or at least... In spirit, you are. If they see you, I can actually talk with them. Yeah. Hmm. That's. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just I didn't expect to make such a difference. <sighs> I didn't expect to get sent back in time either. On one hand, I'm grateful, but on the other hand, it's just crazy. And now that that doctor's locked up and known for one is uh, without special treatment, I just go. The hope things don't change too much. You. Deliberately change the lives of several people, and you're only 18. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Yeah, but at least with the combined income of everyone, it's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's going good, very good. That crazy doctor is locked up, and these things are looking up. There are still some villains, but still. <sighs> I just need them to be afraid of All Might. No, they're not afraid of him. They're, they're not afraid of Toshi whatsoever. They pray for him when they know that you're around. Huh? You're a lot more brutal than you were when you first got one for all. Well, you've 
you've gotten better at your brutality ever since you got sent back in time. So that's a plus. <sighs> yeah. But begs the question, what now? I've changed the lives of all the other villains and Hmm. Well, we could go, uh, you did want to change the life of that Toga girl. Hmm? Himiko? Yeah. How old would she be right about now? Uh, let's see. Hmm. If anything, she would probably be, what, two, maybe three? But, the, I don't think, her quirk shouldn't manifest yet, I don't think. Only one way to find out, really. As soon as he heads to the Toga residence, he notices... Like, there she is. Wait, is that... Baby, a baby bird. What was she? Is she gonna drink his blood? Looks like it. Are you gonna stop her? No. No, I'm not gonna let her. At least force her to deny her instincts. But I can at least help her deal with them. She doesn't even know where her quirk is yet. But it's already grabbed hold of her. As soon as he sees Toga's parents berate her for doing such a thing, he sees her sad as all hell. But this is when he does what he does best. He but he becomes the Emotional support. As soon as he knocks on the door, he sees that her parents pretty much freak out. Not really because he's a hero, a brutal one at that, but mainly because he's. Yeah. It's company after them witnessing what their daughter just did. So, yeah, they're hoping that Toga, yeah, does not display their brand of weirdness. At least, and not until it's behind closed doors, that is. Which, yes, he asks to see Himiko. Then, damn it. So, the psychic jigs up. He doesn't like the fact that Himiko is pretty much forcing herself to be all prim and proper or whatever. So her is pretty much, oh, when can you leave so I can finally be myself again? As the talking continues, but then something weird happens. Mind you, Himiko's parents are still in the room. At least see if you could just take out a knife and show it to Himiko. So, what are you doing? Do you like knives? Um, no. Don't lie to me, Himiko. Do you want to cut someone? No. D are you sure? You don't want to hurt anyone? No. Or do you want something else? What? Izuku in front of her. In front of her parents. In front of Nomori. Just grips the blade and slices his hand. And they just watch as drops of blood just fall 
to the ground. Is this what you want, Himuko? Do you want my blood? Yes.